Let's look a little further at solving two-step equations. Let's have a look at this equation. If we're trying to solve the equation, what we're wanting to do is get x on its own. So because we have 3 multiplied by x plus 6 on the left-hand side, to get rid of that 3, we need to do the reverse of multiplying, which is dividing. And what we do to one side, we must do to the other. And then we will get that x plus 6 is equal to 8. We still haven't got x on its own, so we need to work further. And here we need to find the inverse of adding 6, which of course is subtracting 6. And what we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. And so we will get our solution. x is equal to 2. OK, here's another one. We want to solve for y, so we want to get y on its own. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of that 2. So we're going to subtract 2 on the left, but obviously with an equation, what we do to the left, we also need to do to the right. Here, we're going to have 2, subtract y, subtract 2. Well, the 2 subtract 2 gives us nothing, so we're going to be left with negative y is equal to 1. Now, we haven't got y on its own, we've got negative y. But if negative y is 1, we know the very next step is to say y is equal to negative 1. 